In this video, I'm going to talk about the battery degradation in my Model X P90D. So I recently passed uh, 80,000 kilometers or 50,000 miles. Uh, but you see uh, the title says something else. And if we look at this screenshot from the energy uh, graph, you see that I have a whooping 340 watt hour per kilometer <laughs> consumption. That's about 550 watt hour per mile. Uh, and uh, typical on my car, I measured it to 210 watt hour per kilometer. So that means that it is a factor of 1.6. So yes, if we take 80,000 times 1.6, you get about 130,000 kilometers or 80,000 miles. And why do I mention this in the title? Well, that's the equivalent the distance you know, normally you would have driven if you didn't pull a trailer, because I pull a trailer a lot. So uh, in that in that way, yes, the number of cycles are equal to that distance. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, when you pull a trailer and you have pretty high power output, you also have more heat loss. Uh, so there's actually some uh, like some consumptions that is not shown in here. But I guess you know you can compensate for the kind of low age on the battery. It's only one year old, you know. Uh, normally, people they spend maybe three to six years. Uh, driving that far but uh, anyway uh, I tried to figure out how much a fresh battery has and you know uh, just looking at BMS might not give you the correct answer BMS makes just an estimate so based on what I mean I didn't do a proper like uh, test when the car was new uh, but from what I have heard other people say it should be around 81 kilowatt hour and I charge, well this, this is the method I heard other people use, so I also use it for a while now. So which is to charge it to 100% until it stops. You can't stop at 99, there is just that tiny little bit of energy you want to push in the battery. So charge it all the way to 100% and then drive it as close to zero as possible because then you get a more accurate result. So actually, um, yeah, when, when I charge it to 100%, uh, according to to you know, the typical low watt estimation, it's supposed to be 77.5 kilowatt hour. But uh, as I drove almost down to zero, I actually got only 77 kilowatt hour out of it. And that means degradation in my battery is 5%. <laughs> so actually 5%, wow, I, I was uh, hoping for maybe 4%, but on the other hand, you know, this could be some round of error. It could be... 4% it could be 6% so but it gives you some indication of how much it is I mean at least it's not 20% and and also at least it's not 0% what, 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 what's up what's up okay um, but um, anyway I also estimated that um, uh, this type of distance and consumption equals to about 350 full cycles meaning that uh, you know discharge is zero and the charge is full and drive it uh, yeah uh, but um, in this like in this method of trying to figure out the degradation there could be more degradation that we don't know because um, um, yeah I actually had <laughs> Optimus Prime stop one time uh, this happened when I was getting close to Bergen I was pulling a trailer it was raining I miscalculated a little bit. Well, actually, I was a little bit too like too tired of always having to calculate to detail how much it was. Just one time I didn't do the calculation, I kind of overshot it, and um, so there was like the worst condition: high power output, you no know, wet road trailer. Go, I was going uphill, and actually the car stopped with uh, three kilometers left, and you see. Uh, Tesla is not like Terminator. Once it stopped, it stopped. I tried. I called Tesla support, you know, and they they couldn't revive it. Once the BMS says that's it, then that's it. So there's no hidden reserve or anything. So uh, it was kind of interesting because uh, towards the end, uh, right like close to three kilometers left, I saw that the power limit was creeping down, two hundred kilowatt, hundred kilowatt. And very, very quick, it dropped from 100 kilowatt to droop, almost zero. And then it was like, duh, 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 you have to stop now. 
Yeah, so why, why I'm saying this? Well, because I have a three theory that the fresh berry has some so-called zero mile. Uh, the people call it that you can drive some distance past zero, but as the berry ages, you lose that kind of like hidden buffer. Well, I sh you shouldn't use it anyway, but you kind of lose it. So yes, in the beginning, you, you say that you can push your limits and go a little bit past zero. It seems like some people like to brag that, you know, oh, I made it like zero kilometers left. But as for me, when, when I'm down to like 15 kilometers, I'm super careful because I'm pulling a trailer. Uh, so there could be hidden degradation in that that uh, zero mile, you know. Uh, we don't know. I mean, I might have to do like a proper test and try to drive it past zero. I mean, I'm, I guess I need someone else with a more legs to be ready and tow me when I, you know, get stranded somewhere. Um, but um, yes, so uh, five percent. Uh, how much? I mean, does it matter that much? Most of the time, it doesn't matter because the five percent is for full capacity, and I I don't use it. I use like uh, you know eighty percent because I use charge more a lot. So actually, for most people, uh, even if you use the car for let's say uh, three to six years, as I mentioned. Uh, you still, I mean, this, the bar is still still feels like uh, almost like new. Yeah, I see it in display that the the car the car estimates I have slightly less less range than I had, you know, uh, the first three months. Especially in the, the beginning, it drops pretty fast and then kind of slows down. So well, okay, so there you have it. Uh, I'm I found out it's five percent. Uh, maybe I should do another measurement in six months or one year, but. Um, I might not be able to do it because uh, Tesla told me they will upgrade my battery in exchange for some power walls because I won a couple of power walls. So they told me, yes, they can upgrade it. I don't know when, uh, like, I don't know when, two Tesla weeks. Uh, I'm still waiting for my second car, P90, well, it's just P100 day now uh, because 90 is discontinued. Um, but uh, I also heard some people say that uh, Tesla claims it's not possible to upgrade. But uh, on the other hand, I heard someone who already gotten an upgrade. So yes, I would like to get an upgrade as soon as possible. So if Tesla is watching, yeah, just please, s'il vous plaît, I would like the upgrade. <laughs> um, yeah, but if not, then I would just keep driving. Uh, and you see, this just to summarize. Um, even if you're driven a lot uh, and the car kind of starting to age. The battery is not gonna be like crap. It's still good. It's still good. You still charge fast. Well, there's another issue. I have a, like a charging limit on my battery, but that's another topic. But uh, it's still okay. You can still use it as normal. You don't have to ditch ditch the battery after a few years. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, but uh, eventually, yes, after a few years, if I don't get the battery upgrade, and it will start to. Uh, shrink the battery capacity and also something I haven't measured is that supposedly when the, the battery started aging you, you have more internal resistance in the battery that means especially when I'm pulling a trailer you will get more heat loss in the battery uh, the, the supercharging might be slightly slower because you have more heat build up so everything kind of yeah but as for now it's okay how is it gonna be next time we don't know yet yeah, I had to go back to the future. So yes, uh, that's it for now then. And if you like my video and you would like to uh, support me, please check out my Patreon link. It will help a lot. All right. See you guys.